the show. Okay, maybe you don't know Shivori. Well, there's, there's a picture for the queens. Yes, that's true. The queens are kind of, it's a mix of ancient Egypt, which there is also an Egyptian influence where people wear wigs to cover their baldness and the like. And, and the Japanese also do a type of, you could call it tie-dyeing, where they, they crunch the fabric up into these tiny little pleats and they stitch here and there and then they, they dye that. But we can get, like, and that's the sort of pleating that the Sean Chan have, nobles have, but they don't have the pattern dyeing on it as well. So, okay, that's a very brief thing. And, yeah. right. Just talk about the Sean Chan because, yes, there were all those influences, but there was a fan letter Jim got once and he wanted to know what people's yes. different people's accents sounded like yes. and he revealed I know. that the Sean Chan spoke with the Texans. Which yes, matches that, out that, because it's all slow draw. Draw. Yeah. Are there are there so accents what, what, that you reveal? Yeah. That letter, and he had several, and I don't really remember a lot of them. But that one, that one just struck me as funny. Yeah. Really. Funny. Yeah. Um, 
everyone tries to do that sort of thing to yes. us. <laughs> it's not very fair. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there, there is some that. Excuse me, man, these are the criminals, you get your choice. Yeah. Okay. All right, is there, is there anything else that you guys want to make sure that we cover before we open up the Q&A? No, I think that we can do it. Right. Audience story, what do you want to know about? Really, because I'll go keep going with my questions. Go ahead. Okay, um, this might take a little while for you to think this out, but I'm long way to it. But um, okay, so I'm a history student, and this semester I've been taking a uh, class that involved uh, discussions of the Byzantine Empire. And we were talking about the way the uh, emperor uh, and sort of the top echelon of Byzantine society were structured. And I sat through that class, and when I got out, when I got out, my first thought was that reminds me so much of the Shaman Chan Empire. Um, do you know if there was any sort of if, if that was purely accidental? Because I mean, with with the, with the Byzantine Empire, there were um, certain <clears throat> colors and things that were imperial, and you did not use them on pain of death, pretty much. And there were you know, your, your importance was defined by your relationship to the emperor and all sorts of things like that. I, I would say it's not accidental. Mm -hmm. Jim, I mean, he, he, he would mix it up with the great thing too. He, 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 read, he read everything. He, he really loved reading things about history. I know he had, I have a section in my office that's like, the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> Not only the colors and things, but I would almost think that the like elitist fighting attitude of the Byzantines really uh, fashions in there oh, yeah. as well. But if you think about it, uh, I defy you to find one country in the wheel of time that you can say this is influenced solely by this. Uh, he loved throwing in several several cultures in every single place. He just loved mixing up things. Over that scene. You know how you were talking about the Sean Chen having the, the basic labels of, of what your job is on you? That's very Chinese too, the big squares. Yeah. And also, much of that comes from uh, the old Roman Empire, the old Roman Republic. So you've got, you got, you know, 1,000, 1,500 years there where they inherited a lot of that stuff. Hey, I just looked up on the white map. Two rivers is Irish. Ilianos are Dutch. The Aiel are somewhat Slavic. The Tyrans are Spanish. Uh, the Domani are Indian. Uh, Saldan are Egyptian, North African, and Sean Chan are Texas. <laughs> and of course, that, that's not to imply that because they had this kind of accent, that that was the main cultural right. feature. No, no, no. Obviously, it certainly isn't in the Sean Chan. Or the Aiel. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Chan is not the Aiel. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. So just, um, straight down. Down. I'm sorry, visual guys. I need to draw. 
Yeah, like, like a wedding cake. Okay, so just straight well, up. Yeah. I mean, it, but they oh, weren't attached. Yeah, it's like it's like an umbrella, and there's like the stick, and then there's one layer and then another layer. Right. right. And then there was another one that was like maybe Vietnamese that looked like a real umbrella. Yeah. And then they had you the can see the stick. And they like the other ones like the sticks oh. and, they <laughs> and they're actually almost suspended independently. Yes, okay. they are. They're like a lampshade suspended from that pole. Yeah. One. So we were just watching. Was that a Thai influence on that? Maybe that. We're looking at the right thing. I mean, I, that's always, <coughs> almost exactly how I pictured it because I've seen this too and I, I see this at home. I saw that they're stuck in my head now, so you gotta, you gotta tell me that's wrong. I'm going to start so much. I'm just standing there as well. Okay. Yeah. Some of them are crusted in gold. <laughs> That whole area from India over right to Thailand has that. I mean, the jewelry of the, the sea folk is Indian. Yeah, it's very Gujarati. The, yes, all the chains. Yeah, and the tattoo, the whole bit, the tattoos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love Executed is, is not so cool in all the circumstances. Tyr really interesting too because you have the, the nobility of Tyr uh, acting and dressing and looking like uh, was it the Armada era Spaniards, and yet the the common folk in that place totally different. And, you know, I see I see influences. 
uh, of Vietnam a lot there because of the raised houses on stilts in the Delta area.